Hi guys, welcome back to section 6.2, Differential Equations, Growth and Decay. So in many applications, the rate of change of a variable is proportional to the value of y. When y is a function of time, the proportion reads, the rate of change of y is proportional to y. So the change of y over the change in time is equal to some constant multiplied by my y values. So let's connect that to a basic example below. So they tell us the rate of change of y is proportional to y. When t equals 0, y equals 2, and when t equals 2, y equals 4. What is the value of y when t equals 3? So the rate of change of y, dy, dt, is proportional to y. So now I'm going to solve this differential equation that I just created for y. First, I will separate my variables. Dividing y to this side and multiplying dt up here, I have dy over y equals k dt. So now I'm going to integrate both sides. The integral of dy over y is ln absolute value of y plus c equals kt plus c. So now to simplify this, subtracting c, ln absolute value of y equals kt plus c. A constant minus a constant is still a constant. To solve for y, I need to write this in exponential form. y equals e to the kt plus c. Remember, when we have exponential equations, I'm going to break this down into being e to the kt times e to the c, breaking down properties of exponents backwards. Well, remember, e to the c is just a constant. So y equals c e to the kt. We've created an exponential equation from our proportional differential equations. So now they've given us a couple initial conditions. So they said when t of 0, t is 0, y is 2. So 2 equals c times e to the 0. So c equals 2. Next they tell us that when y or when x is 2, y is 4. So plugging that in, 4 equals, well now we know c is 2, 2 e um, to the 2 k. So now what I can do is solve this equation for k my um, proportional value. So notice I plugged in 4 for y, 2 for c, e, and then I plugged in 2 for t, and it's equal to k. So let's um, isolate this, dividing by 2. 2 equals e to the 2k. ln both sides. ln 2 equals ln e to the 2k. That cancels. ln 2 over 2 equals k. So now that I know what k is, I can plug in when t equals 3. So here's now finally solving for when t equals 3. y of 3 is 2e to the ln 2 over 2 times 3. And then you could plug that in your calculator to get a decimal approximation but this would be your exact answer. y of 3 equals 2e to the 3 ln 2 over 2. Plug it in your calculator. So we use the idea of proportional differential equations to solve, to find an exponential equation given initial conditions.